Well, with another week down in the rotation, you know me, it's usually some variety. With the certain weeks that are exceptions that end up being a themed week for a brand or where I, you know, recently I wore Tabac several times in a row. But this week, it was definitely mixed around with quite a bit of variety, starting to transition into those much colder weather fragrances with a few freshies mixed in, some disappointments, some studs, it's a little bit of everything in week number 104. So stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, this is one of those rare times I recommend grabbing the clone over the original. Because, like I've said in a few times that I've mentioned this, it's like 90% or better accurate from top to bottom. The performance matches. It's like a 10-hour fragrance with great projection without being too much. Just like Sauvage Elixir, this being Alexandria Fragrances at Sauvage Elixir. From what people have been telling me in the comments, uh, they ran a 25% off discount code and every they're sold out, 60 ml and 100 ml at the recording of this. So I'm not sure when it'll be restocked, but oh man, I got to tell you, Alexandria did their thing. <sighs> Alexandria did their thing with this, honestly. I, For those of you that watch me on a regular basis, you know I never, never, I'm not going to say never, but almost never, recommend the clone over the original in this instant you can save instance you can save some money and it's pretty much the same thing almost one-to-one -one. very 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 subtle differences mainly in the opening this is a little bit fresher but that's about it it's still that dry woody spice aromatic you know lavender in the heart where it really becomes very aromatic a little soapy and then you have that creamy sandalwood to provide that woodiness the nutmeg shines adding that dry woody spice up top little touch of cardamom, some cinnamon, all the things you've come to expect from Sauvage Elixir, Et Sauvage Elixir absolutely provides. Really digging this one. Probably going to wear this way more than the original moving forward. And we got the shower. One I have not been wearing out the shower in a while. I've been mixing it up a lot more lately, but went back to Old Faithful, Nautica Classic. Just haven't worn it in a while. And I figured, why not? It's one of my favorites. That vintage, synthetic, aquatic, nautical theme, salty sea breeze type of smell. Just very, very synthetic. You can find these around 10, 12 bucks online. It's nothing special. I've said it many times. Nothing special. It's just a nostalgia fragrance for me. I've been wearing Nautica. It was just called Nautica back then. I've been wearing Nautica since I was a teenager. And uh, I always have a bottle. Always will. I have a backup bottle of the classic like this. I have a vintage bottle of the old formulation. I use the aftershave pretty regularly. It's uh, it's one of my favorites. I just have not been wearing it out the shower, so I felt like it was time. Out the shower on Sunday, Nautica Classic. Moving into Monday, one of the more disappointing fragrance buys I've had in a while. I did do a full review on it in the previous week. Uh, let's just get into it. That being... Mont Blanc Explore Ultra Blue, you know, I gave this like a 4.5 out of 10, where it's not bad, but it's below average. It's okay. It's not even good, because I would consider 5 to 6 good. 4 to 5 is okay. You know, 4, 4.5. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's got this super synthetic bug spray type of thing going for it, and that's not okay. It stays very harsh. I don't mind super synthetic. I got a bunch of fragrances that I cherish that are very synthetic, but they're not super harsh. This is harsh and, and, and almost off-putting the smell for the first like two hours or so for me. Um, the early dry down and into the dry downs where it gets, you know, enjoyable for me. And if I got to wait two or three hours to start enjoying a fragrance, it's not a fragrance I'm going to reach for often. Definitely check out my full review to get all of my full thoughts on what I actually get from it off of my skin. Performance is okay. Nothing super special. It's not really weak, but it's not a, you know, far from a beast either. Like I said, Ultra Blue, it's just okay. There is nothing special here. I paid around 40 bucks for the 60 ml and I feel like I paid too much. I even put that in a thumbnail. Feel like I paid too much because I did. This is like a $20 fragrance. 20 bucks I'd be 
kind of okay with it, I guess. I wouldn't feel as bad, but 40 bucks, I paid too much, so pass on it. I mean, I know there's people out there, but this is just my opinion, of course, but I say it's a pass personally. And out the shower, it was time for a good shave, so I grabbed my Zaharoff Signature Noir Shave Set. This is the aftershave splash, if I can get it to decide to focus that would just be peachy there we go and of course I gave myself a few sprays of the fragrance just two sprays because the scent strength is average moderate type of stuff hour and a half or so and then it fades so I like to you know have a few sprays of the fragrance noir is some good stuff I know there's a lot of people that this is actually their favorite Zaharoff fragrance. While not my favorite, it's still a great fragrance in its own right. And uh, it's definitely one that I like to wear in the evenings. It kind of has that evening wear appeal, hence the name Noir. It's a bit darker. And actually, this is the base to Rosé and Tabac. So Claude started to move away from the signature Poirot base to try different things. And pff, it's been remarkable using Noir as a base. So Noir as a standalone is, is great. But as a base for the newer creations, the newer flankers, brilliant, brilliant. And out the shower, that's what I went with. Signature Noir Shave Set and the fragrance. Moving into Tuesday, a fragrance that gets no love. And it's been cold enough to where I can wear stuff like this. Now granted, better for the evenings, but during the day on a nice cold day, nothing wrong with wearing La Nuit de Lome Eau de Parfum. I actually did a quick little shorts review on it. I like this stuff, you know? It's not my favorite Lana Wheat Delone flanker, but it's underrated. It's definitely underrated. Now that Blue Electrique's out there, it's gonna get overshadowed because Blue Electrique is what most people thought this was going to be, a stronger version of the original. Whereas this still has the original's DNA, but it's more centered around smooth leather, I find. It's not as aromatic, not as fresh. It's definitely more dense. I find it to be a little bit more spicy. And uh, like I said, it's got this supple leather note. Almost a slight animalic touch, but not really. It's more smooth and soft. Lovely. Solid performer too. Slightly above average, six, seven, eight hour range and longevity. Um, not a beast, but definitely different. Not crazy different, but different enough from the original to where it's not redundant if you have the original or blue electric. So if any of that sounds good, maybe check it out. One I haven't worn in quite a while, Lana Wee Delome Eau de Parfum. And then we got the shower. Switched it up to something mega fresh. Mercedes-Benz Cologne. You know, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the best freshies ever created, ever. I don't know if it's still in production or not. They do pop up once in a while at discounters, and as soon as they do, they usually sell out very quickly because the info spreads like wildfire throughout the community because this is very sought after. It does perform a little bit better than Diorome Cologne. It smells like a slightly synthetic, more synthetic version of Diorome Cologne. Honestly, I like it better overall because I get pretty good performance. It's like six hours of life on my skin most of the time. You spray your clothes and stuff like that, seven, eight hours. But it smells like it's got that classic ice cold lemonade smell with a bunch of added orange citrus, zesty orange citrus to the top. Because uh, it's not the same note breakdown as the Orome Cologne. Great casual fragrance in the summer. Great just everyday refresher. Really great for the gym, great for work. It just smells great. Not the shower. That's what I went with. Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Moving into Wednesday. I've been waiting for the cold to pull this one out because I talked about it recently. I love it. It's delightful. It's underrated. Nobody talks about it. It is Mancera crazy for Oud. Stuff's really good. Performance is no slouch, as you would expect from a Mancera fragrance, especially a sweet Oud. <sighs> Tiermisu dessert cake light type of smell with that slightly medicinal Oudiness. Uh, it's not too much Oud because it's not the most natural Oud out there. Definitely not a designer Oud, but not super challenging artistic niche level oud oils either it falls somewhere in between it's a bit more wearable uh, but the performance is there and it's actually quite intoxicating for an oud my wife loves this fragrance she could not stop smelling me on wednesday when i wore this one very delightful i really enjoy this one i did a full review last winter on this one make sure to check that out to get my full thoughts on the exact breakdown of what i get off of my skin 
but it's one that nobody really talks about that deserves a little bit of love. It's the same fragrance as Precious Oud minus the booze. Pretty much. It's not pretty much. It is the same fragrance minus the booze. The note breakdown is identical minus the one note. So if you, if you like that and you have it, that'll be redundant to get this. But if you don't have it and you're not a fan of booziness in a fragrance, this would be the one to get. During the day, Mancera Crazy for Oud. Then we got the shower. This is slowly becoming my favorite out the shower fragrance. Sean John, I am king. This stuff just smells so good. I, I seem to want to just spray it, at least weekly. It's got this passion fruit type of smell going for it. Very, very super fruity fresh. Special? No. Smells great? ab so freaking lootly Smells awesome. You're not going to get much performance out of this one. If you're looking for something that's going to give you six, seven, eight hours, this ain't the fragrance. 25 bucks for this. I believe it's a 100 ml. Yes, 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliter bottle. I paid 25 bucks for it from the rack stores. And uh, I don't remember which rack store. I want to say it was Burlington. I think it was Burlington. And for me, I don't mind respraying every two to three hours. I spray this one heavy. This is 10 plus sprays. It just smells so... Oh man, so, so good. If you're looking for something that just smells awesome, great for the gym, great out the shower, keeping your bag in case of an emergency, just a refresher kind of thing. I think this is one of the best fragrances that fits that category because the scent is just that damn good. Out the shower, Sean John, I am king. On Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. So I had been wanting to save this for a special occasion. Um, oud, incense, spices. I really, really, really think this is a special fragrance. Not the most challenging Middle Eastern fragrance out there, but I really love this scent profile, that being Amouage Epic Man. I've had a decan of this, so it was one I sampled before I bought a bottle. And I just love this fragrance, I really do. And look, it performed great for me. It's one of the newer bottles that's, you know, magnetic cap. I believe it's a uh, London, yeah. No, Oman. So, for those that care, there you go. There's the info on the bottom. I still got great performance out of it. I was still smelling myself very easily seven, eight hours into the life of this fragrance. So, it's not a weak performer for me. Is it nuclear? No. I don't think I would want it to be. Honestly, I don't need this fragrance the last two days on my skin to where I, if I don't scrub that exact area, it's not necessarily going to come off. I don't need fragrances to do that for me and for this it's like an eight nine even ten hour fragrance on my skin more than enough that's beast mode for me you know that's bordering beast mode for sure and the projection was never too heavy it wasn't one of those 30 minutes and then it's close to the skin it left a decent trail it was a topic of conversation at one point we had 10 people at my in-laws for Thanksgiving and seven of the ten not counting children told me how good I smell you know were they humoring me because they know I like fragrances I don't know or did they really think it smelled good I don't know but they told me I smelled great so 70% of the adults in the room thought I smelled great and uh, that's a positive that's why you wear a fragrance like this you want when you're giving hugs and stuff like that to get a positive comment it's it's reassuring you know did i wear it specifically for people to tell me i smelled good no did i wear something like this because i also didn't want them to not say something i did kind of wear it for that because it's one of those deals where when it's for me anyways this is my thought process special event family gathering holiday whatever where i'm going to be around a lot of people especially since I talk about fragrances on social media, they expect me to show up wearing something different, something they haven't smelled before. And I thought this was special enough, yet not so challenging that they wouldn't be like, Ooh, what is that? I still wanted them to say that it smelled good for those that did want to comment. And it was an overwhelming thumbs up for how it smelled. So that's my thought process on events like this just so you get where I'm coming from, where, yes, I wear fragrances for me. I wear fragrances that I think smell good, but when I know I'm going somewhere special, a special occasion or whatever, I'm trying to show out, you know? And for me, Epic Man, 
was a great fragrance to show out on Thanksgiving. And then when I got out the shower, it was back to back nights with Sean John. Well, this time it was 3 a.m. One of the best cheap fragrances in existence, in my opinion. Not just for this beautiful atomizer either. It's this lovely tonic water smell. Citrus, fig, leather. I've talked about it to death because I love this stuff. I can't stop recommending it to you guys. Another one. Like three hours. Nothing special. Three, four hours of longevity. You got to be prepared to respray if that's not good enough for you. Um, you may get less than that. You may only get an hour and a half, two hours. But it's so cheap. It smells so good. It's just, and it's unique. It's unique. I don't have any other fragrance that smells like Sean John 3 AM. So if you see this out in the wild at the rack stores, it's worthy of a dice roll in my opinion. It's, is it a guarantee you're going to like it? Nope. No fragrance is. But for the like 13 bucks you're going to spend, you might end up thanking me later because in my opinion, it's one of the best cheap gems out there. Out the shower, Sean John 3 AM. Moving into Friday, Black Friday shopping. We did do some Christmas shopping. Um, I didn't buy myself a bunch of stuff because I'm pretty much done buying fragrances for the year. When my birthday rolls around in late January, I'll probably do a real nice fragrance haul from somewhere or multiple places because uh, I'll definitely be ready to buy some fragrances by that point. But for running around, when well, it was a Haroff Signature Tobacco. I just can't get enough of this stuff. Like I said from the very first weekly rotation this was in, get used to seeing it because I'll be wearing it regularly. And those of you that have gotten your nose on it, you know why. This stuff's great. So well balanced. So multifaceted. Complex but not challenging. You know, familiar yet different at the same time. Because it encompasses so many things that make for a great tobacco fragrance. Quality, you know, A1 tier. Performance above average yet not a beast. It checks all the boxes for me. This is my favorite tobacco fragrance. And it's not just because George Zaharoff is my friend. It's the damn fragrance is that good. It's just what it is. It is awesome. This is one of the most wearable tobacco fragrances in my opinion. That's why it's my favorite. It's not one that I feel like I got to wait till cool weather rolls around. I feel like two or three sprays and you're good in the summer with this one too. I feel like this is a signature scent worthy tobacco. Year round. Yeah, I said it. And I mean it, during the day, Black Friday. It's a Haroff Signature Tabac. And then when I got the shower, I amped it up and went a little spicy. With Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. I've been wearing this one out the shower a lot lately. I've been getting in the mood for spicy fragrances. I think it's the season. It's the weather. The fall transitioning into winter in a few weeks. You know, it's, it's that scent profile. And it smells really good. It's spice bomb, but different. That makes sense. There's some differences here. It's gentleman only mixed with spice bomb. You get some of that fruitiness. I get a little bit of that juniper smell that I get from uh, from gentleman only with spice bomb's core DNA minus the tobacco. It's lovely. I might have to do a full review at some point with this one. I've been wearing. I've worn it like five times in the last two weeks, two or three weeks. I've worn it like five times. So I might give it a few more wearings and do so. If you want to see a full review on Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute, please make sure to let me know in the comments because if it's something nobody cares to see, I won't make the video. But if it's something you guys want to see, I may just do that because I've been intrigued more and more. I keep enjoying it more and more every spray. This is a uh, underrated stuff right here. This is a very, very good fragrance. And uh, I've worn it during the day as well. I don't just exclusively wear it out the shower, but lately I've been getting in the mood for it out the shower for some reason because it's aromatic it has a freshness to it it doesn't wear too heavy but it is a relatively dense spicy fragrance some good stuff out the shower on friday Givenchy gentlemen only absolute finally on saturday what i'm currently wearing on my skin as we speak because it's still daylight outside i have not showered yet for the day and i felt like shooting the video now i didn't want to wait till late in the evening Boss Bottled Oud. Super Synthetic Oud mixed with Boss Bottled. It's that simple. It is that simple, ladies and gentlemen. But it's oddly enjoyable, addicting. I love it. I know it's a turnoff for some people, and I know some people swear by it. This is one of those polarizing type of scents where there's no gray area. I've never come across a comment where they say they kind of like it or it's okay. It's usually I can't stand it or I absolutely or I love it. It's a no gray area type of fragrance. Kind of like me. 
it's very similar to me. I'm a no gray area type of guy. You're either going to love me or hate me. So this fragrance really suits my personality, I guess you could say. Because uh, there's some freshness here. There's that at warm apple pie, cinnamon, woody vibe that Boss Bottled, Boss Number 60 Original is known for. Plus, like I said, it's very synthetic oud. It does make for a much more synthetic fragrance to Boss Bottled. But it's just something about it. I, I can't stop smelling myself. I've had it on my skin for several hours now. Um, I'm in the six hour range and it's still going strong. I've never really timed it. This is another one. If you'd be interested in seeing a full review, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I've only worn it a few times now. I would want to wear it a few more times before I would do a full review, but it's one that's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Really, really digging this one. Super enjoyable for what it is. During the day on Saturday, Boss Bottled Oud from Hugo Boss. And then later on when I take a shower, I think I'm finally going to do my first wearing of Halloween Man Hero. I'm going to start putting some time into this one because I really like how it smells. I've done enough test sprays. It's time to do some full wearings. It's my kind of style, Invictus Aqua-esque type of fragrance, but obviously there's differences here. It's a fruitier take, if you will. Um, at least that's what it smells like. I don't have the note breakdown in front of me. I'm just going off of what I smell in the air. And uh, the few times I've sprayed it on my skin, though, performance was no slouch. I'm not saying it's a beast, but it's definitely not weak so far in my experience. And it's very enjoyable. Definitely very enjoyable. Um, probably going to wear this one during the day tomorrow. At the releasing of this video on Sunday, this might be my scent of the day as well. So I'm going to wear this tonight at the shower. And then again tomorrow. And that'll really begin my full wearings for getting serious into the testing phase, I guess you could say. Because uh, I definitely think it's one of the better releases of the year. Personally, my opinion. And uh, so far it's my favorite Halloween man flanker. Because it's in the family of Invictus Aqua. And you guys know that's my favorite fragrance. So out the shower tonight, it's going to be my first full wearing of Halloween Man Hero. Well, that's week number 104. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What did your week look like? What did you guys wear? Just one or two fragrances. On top of that, what would you wear for Thanksgiving? You know, special holiday with family. And I know a lot of you are like-minded, as am I, when it comes to stuff like that. You want to pull out something special. Because you know you're going to be around your loved ones, family, close friends, and such. And if they know you're really into fragrances, just like with me, they're expecting you to come down with something special. So what would you guys wear? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrance I just wore in my last week's rotation and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Who knows? Have a good one, guys. Yeah.